felt more like free and fun, like I was flying. Sick. Was it cool? It was important you grab under the ski and not the boot. Okay. Sick. Bring the ski up to your hand. Wow, you went huge on one of those. That was real sick real soon. <laughs> That's how you know I grabbed my ski. Hello, hello. Welcome to the party. I asked Vinny to give you guys a heads up, or I asked you guys yesterday, if someone wants, to, would like to be in a Stompid live coaching video. I don't know exactly what the video is going to be. I'm kind of going to choose who, depending on, on, on what you really would like to learn. But uh, if we all think for like a, a short moment, like what would you like to learn that is like possible that you've never tried before? I'm pretty I'm happy to learn anything sick, but I want to back you as well. <laughs> you want to back you? Yeah. I, I'm just going to say right now, I'm not going to take anyone on a backy journey right now uh, because I don't feel like we have a safe enough jump to do it. Is it any cool grabs? I'm happy to learn any like really sick grabs as well. <laughs> yeah, I know we're talking. Uh, you can jump pretty good, can't you? Yeah. Because I was kind of keen on making a video about grabbing. Uh, what grabs can you do today? Uh, any that you want me to do. <laughs> but but what, what have you actually learned? Japan. And a bunch of criticals, but the fans were confusing. So no mute grab yet, no uh, tail grab. She, she got a mute grab, but like straight legged, so like, <laughs> because she's very flexible. She <laughs> kind of shitty mute grab. <laughs> <laughs> but this sounds like fun. Uh, so we can maybe learn multiple grabs and aerial maneuvers. All right, I look forward to do it. What was your name again? Laura. Laura. Let's go and do some grabs. Sweet. So we got camp guest Laura, who wants to learn some more grabs. Hello, my name is Laura. I'm from Hungary. I used to do diving professionally and I just started doing freestyle skiing. Professional? Yes, I was on the national team. Sweet, what's your coolest trick? Uh, probably two and a half forward pike on seven and a half meters. Two and a half forward pike from seven meters, that sounds yeah. rad. You should teach me that at some point. I could. So the last couple of days you've hit these jumps a few times, haven't you? Yeah, I tried them yesterday. Like many times or? Yeah, we went down them quite a few times. All right, that's awesome. This run, I just want you to jump them. No grabs, jump them in a way that you feel happy with, like okay. you're being coached. Yeah. Nice pop, good landing. And I'm gonna ski on the side, film you, because I like I have a little mental checklist that I want to see that you're doing right before we move on with the grabs. Cool, okay. Yeah, girl, you have no fear of speed, do you? No. <laughs> I had to tuck a little bit to keep up with you. Oh, sorry. Come on, then. let's have a quick look at uh, your run there. Uh, but here at the, the lip, you've almost extended the legs fully. Okay. But I need you there at the end to like pinch the butt together okay. just to get the hip forward a little yes. bit more. Pretty good. Like, boom. And if you do it good, you're moving forward. Did uh -huh. you feel that? That yes. was different. Yeah. Do it again. Nice. And arms out. Just nice and relaxed. Try again. Pretty good. Right. You have a little bit of a... Yeah. I'm do like you feel that? almost. The pop is more there, not to get that much more height. Yes. You will get a little bit, but it's more to be in control of your balance. I see. Because if you let the jump just send you somewhere, it's quite easy to get out of balance, yeah. land on the tails or, or worse. So the pop is basically to counteract the, the like balance of the jump so yeah. that you're stable in the air. Yeah, so you can move forward. Yeah hit that landing. Makes sense. So we don't need to do much. That's one of the very common mistakes I often see that some people can just want to sit down super yeah. deep and it's just unnecessary. It leads to weird things. Nice. Open the boots a little bit for louder air too allowed to have a little bit more range of motion 
So it's going to feel a little bit like what she's used to when uh, diving, where you have more ankle flexibility than in a pair of ski boots. Because uh, this is really one of the issues like everyone has to start, who starts jumping and popping on skis, is that the, the ski boots is limiting the ankles flexibility yeah. that makes them like, because I can't bend the ankle more, yeah. the butt comes down, then all of a sudden you end up maybe hanging off the back of the, yeah. the boot, and then you make a really weird pop, throwing it off from the back of the boot, or um, people just don't jump as usual. Yeah, because that's where we get all our momentum from in diving, it's all the ankle movement, yeah. and not having that is really difficult. Ah, oh, pretty good. Good, I like this better. So let's nail the jumps now. So we can yeah. start grabbing maybe in the run. Cool. All right, second round. Yeah. Let's do some nice tough bobs together. Sick. How do you feel? Felt more like free and fun, like I was flying, especially on the last one. Ooh. I like to do skiing in with a bit of uh, bent legs. Yeah. So first jump. Do I hint a little bit more ankle flexibility, but still yeah. butt a little bit deep. Look at that, how early yeah. you were. Yeah. A whole ski nose too early. But good, that, that's full extension yeah. though. I like that. I just need to get the timing right. Yeah, so we later. Yeah, well here the timing is pretty good though. Yeah. Like maybe a wee early, like a boot, half a boot. And you're moving forward. So second jump is kind of good though, moving yeah. forward. We're getting there. The flying feeling on the last yeah. one. I feel like it got better, like my timing got better and better as the... Oh yeah, like the timing down. is pretty spot on yeah. there. I think the spread is important to practice before grabbing because spread is usually done with straight legs. So you get used to popping fully like you practiced before and then have a little pause and then do something in the air that you're not used to. Because when you go for grabs, you have to pull the legs up and then people often start to pull it up even before they left the jump, making a poor pop. I have heard from Daddy Kempkes that you have a mean spread here. Maybe save that for the last jump? Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. That is not from the world. How was that, Betsy? <laughs> was it cool? Yeah, I think it was cool. I hope so. Okay, look at this sick angle from the back. Oh my god! That was a full Whoa. spready. That was cool. Crazy. I did not know my legs were that far apart. They were really sick. far apart. Nice. Wow, it's so sick. <laughs> it looks like the T Fighter from Star Wars. Yeah, it does. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Best place to practice uh, grabs are on a trampoline, but we don't have that, so laying on the ground is quite good too. Head down the hill like we are. Roll on to the back. First, let's think about a safety grab. Are you right or left-handed? Right. Nice. Many people try to reach down to the ski, yep. which is really hard. Also, when we're on the ground, obviously, even harder. But you want to bring the foot up to the hand. Mm -hmm. Most people learn a safety grab like this first, like legs straight up. But I'd actually like us to have the feet a little bit on the side. So if you push the knees to the left, yeah, do you see it's kind of easier to reach it there? Yeah. Good. Nice. And you can leave the tails in the snow too. Okay. You know, this position is more like skiing anyway. Yeah. So you have a little pop, boom. And it's important that you grab under the ski and not the boot. A very common mistake people do that we've seen today is that when learning to grab it, it makes you pop weird and different. That's why you want to have a nice pop and then wait a little bit and then the grab comes because if you start doing the grab already in the jump you might start pulling the legs up while you're still going up the jump and it's gonna make a really strange jump where you're probably gonna land back seated yeah 
You touched it, didn't you? It was a little, I think my other ski didn't come up that far, no? Awesome self-analysis. It was the first thing I saw too, that... Uh... Yeah, my oh. ah. <laughs> The other ski was up a suitable amount, what? while the right ski was a bit much. They were just not parallel. Yeah. It's actually really like, I'm quite flexible, but not in this way. It's, it's really right? strange. No, but I know what you mean. It's like you get kind of squeezed in here. It's yeah. weird. That's why it gets so much easier when you get it a little bit on the side so that you bring up the leg, you can have a little swing, but, yeah. and then just a little bit the shoulders down towards it. Another common mistake people often do is that they try to reach down to the ski instead of have the ski come up to the hand. If we keep the, the feet together. closer together if I'm a mirror, it's gonna look way better. Okay. And when the feet are close together, the knees are also doing yeah, easy the same, the same thing. Way. Good job. That was cool. First one was all right. You touched it, I think. Yeah. But yeah, second and third was getting better yeah. and better. And then on the third one, boom. Yeah, touched it. Nice. What I think is nice about safety grabs is that it's the first grab people learn, but it's also a really advanced rad grab that the best skiers of the in the world regularly are doing because it looks great if you do it right. Nice. How did that feel? It felt better. I felt like I had more air time. Felt a bit cooler. I hope the shape was all right. That was real sick real soon. Okay. I'll show you. Oh yeah, okay. The shape is really nice, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I just... And look where you landed. Oh yeah, like... on the landing almost. Yeah, you could have jumped this much further okay. maybe. Yeah. I hit what we call the sweet spot. And what do you do with your poles? Because I can't hold a pole and grab my ski. Great question, Laura. You can just pinch the pole real hard. Really get that thumb in for a nice four finger grab. Or if you wear gloves like me, you can also wrap the, these two fingers around too for a two finger grab. I mostly do two finger grabs, but four fingers feels great. You made a funny emu grab the other day. Yes. I accidentally <laughs> did it with straight legs. It's like just whoop. Yeah. That is a little bit weird. But it is. Um, if we're not used the same technique as we've been practicing, you know, it's going to be pretty good. Okay. But let's quickly lay down, feel it, and then we go for some mute grabs. Cool. Mute grabs is one of the sickest grabs. Maybe the only one you ever need to know well. Because you can do it in such different ways where you have the feet really under you with a big cross. You can do it as a nose mute, where you like grab the, the nose and then slide out a little bit on it. Looks great on especially like a Switch 7. Uh, you can pull the mute up on your back like 90s style, which is cool in a backflip for example or in half pipe. Just can be done in so many ways. All right, down. <laughs> Legs up. Like the safety grab, legs on the side. Mm -hmm. Those feet on the side. Yeah. And, oh, pretty good. And then right hand here. Okay. There for the mute grab. In the air, the skis are gonna cross a little bit more. Yeah. Kind of like that. You wanna think about the legs coming up to the hand, just like yeah. on the safety grab. And then as it comes up to the hand, you grab the, the ski there. Okay. Exactly. Makes sense. How to mute grab on skis. The absolute crucial thing is that you get both feet on the side of the body. And bring the ski up to your hand. Self coach, what happened and why? So my legs were straight again. <laughs> I uh -huh. did not bring them up. I, th I touched my ski and I think I could have made a little bit more of an X. Yeah, my 
legs are more bent. My arm is up, like yeah. you said. It comes usually kind of natural to do that. And the pop is okay too, it yeah. looks pretty straight. Maybe the pop is a little bit on the weak side. Yeah. Because if, if you made it over there, you'd yeah. land quite tail heavy. It was like, yeah. nah, you didn't try. You did yeah. like so many people do is that they kind of start thinking about the grab too early and then forget yeah. about that full extension and let it happen after. I see. Yeah. Well, great work. It's starting to look like a, a new grab. Do we dare to try the bigger jumps? Again? Yeah, let's do it. So we're increasing the size of jumps to the medium line, as we like to call it here on Ilsplown. Uh, important to stay very close to me. It's okay. easy for you to feel my speed then. Yep. And uh, you can choose straight arrow grabs. What do you want? Uh, grabs. Oh, so then we leave the mute for now. Yeah. And go for the safety. Yes. On the side. Okay. survived. The one thing I know, I definitely held on to my ski. You did? So, yes. But maybe a little straight legged again? Yes, <laughs> that is possible. Because now if we go back to the small jumps, I think you'll have close to zero hesitation. Yep. And you could probably focus on the grabs real nice. Yep. And instead of going to the big jumps, we can just do the small jumps a little bit bigger. Okay. Take a little bit more speed to make it more challenging and have the, you know, the hang time to do a nice mute grab. Sometimes you got to take a step back to then take a step forward. Oh, good pop and way, a lot of speed there, quite exciting. Nice mute grab there. Come on, legs to the side. Sander. <laughs> like this. Wow, you went huge on one of those. Yeah, I know. On the first one, I was like, I was not expecting that much airtime. Uh, some pops were good. Some, you know, you were a bit straight legged still. Yeah. So maybe dial back to speed some so you feel safe and at yeah. home. So you'd really dare to pop yeah. fully. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Well, was I doing it right? Like, I thought they looked really cool, your first two mutes there. Because um, I feel like I was getting the right motion. It's just yeah. a shame my ski came off. And I think you're fit enough that if you were ready for it and wasn't so shocked, yeah. you could have landed on one leg there and skied it out. Well, that was extremely sick. Uh, yeah. First mute grab there, both yeah. skis, tied it together on the side. Yeah. Second, so good. Grab high mute almost, or a little yeah. bit away from the bunny. Get you so much leverage, you pull the ski off. I know, I was really happy with the shape though. It's a shame my ski came off, but. I was sick. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy to leave it at that, because yeah. that's exactly what I hoped it would look like by the end of it, on the side and tidy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for skiing along with me today. Thank you for coaching me, it's been great. Yeah, and you guys for watching. I hope you learned a bit from your struggles. Yes, it is a very difficult sport, guys. Yeah, it is hard, but it's also just very different from what you're used to. Yeah, but it's very fun. Yeah, totally. And guys, check out some more videos up there and maybe join one of our freestyle camps for adults. See you in the next video. Ciao. You should start a YouTube channel about diving. I should. And mix it with medicine. And I'll teach you. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs>